I believe that we are all gods. Okay? And it doesn't so matter what gods. you believe. Okay? And what does it mean to be a god? So you're the, now admitting the, that Mormon doctrine includes false traditions of men? You are Aaron Ra. Okay? Okay. You are a god. So yeah, it's like Mormonism I'm, I'm saying something and then you're talking about By right Joseph Smith in the 19th century based on documents that he claimed to have found. So that's where Mormonism begins. And it's based on the doctrine he wrote. Okay. His experience uh, was the thing. Okay. That, that was his foundation. It was his, his experience where he saw God, the father and the son, Jesus Christ. And that experience was. All a right. Big... Let's go with that then. Since Christianity, largely, mostly, I mean, there are Unitarian Christians. I like you was raised as a Binitarian Christian, but there are mostly there are Trinitarian Christians who seem oblivious to the idea that there is a Yahweh, that there is a Jehovah. They think that Jesus is God the Father. And this is a weird thought. You know, some biblical scholars are a little upset that why would people think that Jesus is his own father? But there's a lot of Christians who believe that, that, they're, that it's all a triune being. And they ignore where in the Bible where God speaks while Jesus is in the room. God says, hey, this is my son in whom I am very proud. And then the Holy Ghost leads off Jesus to someplace he didn't know. No, these people think that the Holy Spirit and Jehovah and Jesus, all the same person. That they're all equally the same entity. That they're not a triune Godhead like the Trimurti of Hinduism. There's something else. They're the same essence. So that Jesus now knows everything God knows, even though Jesus said he didn't know everything God knows. But there's still a bunch of Trinitarian Christians who, who believe that Jesus is God. And you're saying that Jesus and God can stand side by side. We believe in God, the eternal father, and in his son, Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Ghost. So a lot of Christians will tell me, regardless of what it says in Exodus about the 70 elders who got to see Jesus in the flesh, or excuse me, who got to see God in the flesh, not Jesus, that regardless of all these passages where people like Abraham was able to recognize God as one of the three men knocking on his door, all of that, they just dismiss all of that and say that, God doesn't have a body. You can't see God. You can see Jesus. But now, when Mormons say that you know, Joseph Smith saw Jesus and God standing side by side, you have other Christians saying that that's impossible. Okay. Would that be? Is it? Would you say that that's a difference between Mormon doctrine and other Christian doctrine? That we have different beliefs about Jesus. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to defend the different belief that you have as a Mormon from other Christian denominations. So give me an example. We finally caught on, I think. Give me an example of where doctrine for Mormons differs from that of, of all the other Christian doctrine. What makes Mormonism unique as a Christian faith? Sounds like you want me to read the Articles of Faith here. Articles of Faith. Uh, However you one. want to interpret that, can you show me some body of beliefs that Mormonism's hold, that Mormonism holds to, or that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints holds to, that no other Christian faith does. Something that is uniquely Mormon. Uh, well, we've talked about several things. Now we talked about Jesus saying, "Ye are gods, children of the Most High." Right. Okay. That's, so, that's, that's saying that we are the same is. species. Okay, we are you, the same you species. You define what a god is. I did define what a god is. No, you said a god is a divine being. That's a tautology. That means the same thing it's it's not the same thing okay then what is a god okay uh, i described a righteous being i also can describe so describe yeah. me good so we're, we're that, asking that, for a then, god well okay well i believe that we are all gods okay and it doesn't so matter you are what gods. you believe okay what well, you, is well, a well you just asked me what i believe use words the words should have meaning Right? You just asked me what but, I believed. Okay? okay, Jesus says you are all gods. What does that mean? It means you, Aaron. Okay, you so are a god. I'm Jehovah. Okay, it says you are a god. Okay, one of God's I'm children. Okay? God. It's God's plural. Okay, my Odin, because I I kind of favor Odin. You okay. are Aaron Ra. We look similar in the eyes. I hear. Okay. You are Aaron Ra. Okay? okay, you are a god. Okay. And what does it mean I to am be a god? god? Okay. And what does it mean to be a god? What does it mean to be a god? Yeah, Is because I mean, in one in, in Greek mythology, that's a good question. The, the I, I Greek think, mythology I'm, I'm, was that Jupiter was upset 
that Prometheus gave the, the forbidden knowledge to man, because if man knew how to build fire, then man would be like unto the gods. So it was knowledge of fire that made man into gods. And in Genesis 3, Jehovah gets upset that men know right from wrong, and that knowledge is what makes men like unto gods. But in neither case does it explain what a god is. It is a god just anybody who knows how to make fire and who can tell right from wrong? Uh, okay, the Bible often describes, uh, use the, the term Elohim, okay, and that often gets translated to God, and uh, that often means great leader, someone who is a leader. Uh, okay, so anybody who's a great leader is a god? Oh, no, everybody's by, a god. By, everybody's by, a god. by definition. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Okay, so, so I, it, yep, I, I, I have a dog right here. Is he a god? I don't believe so. It doesn't match the description. What's the description? Okay. Ye are children of, of God. Okay. That it's talking about How is a species. He not a child okay? of God? Because he's a different species. How am I a child of God? Okay. And so you have a body. You've got, yeah, you've got a, he body. Has a body. Okay. But you are made in the image of God. Your dog isn't made in the image of, of I'm not in the, image, the, in the image of you. Okay. You but you are made in the different. image. You are made in the image of your father. Okay. And so, yes, we are. My father brothers. looked remarkably like me, but, but with a brill cream pompadour. Okay. Instead of yeah. my hair. We are brothers. And so, children can have the same kind of uh, so qualities. A okay? God is you still just. Have... God is just any white guy? No, not at all. Okay. Um, Pre 1978, when I, had, when I met with these missionaries when I was 14, I was told in 1977, in fact, that, that black people could not get into the church because, what was it, the mark of the curse of Cain? Yeah, that's one of the false yeah. traditions of men. That like, False traditions of men that, that, that was written yeah. into the Mormon doctrine. So you're that, now admitting that, that Mormon doctrine includes false traditions of men? Absolutely. Okay. That, I think this debate is over then. You, you've conceded Mormonism is not true. You, you, you hold false traditions of men. There is nothing that you can show that is, what you when you can't distinguish anything from Mormonism from Christianity, then you've got nothing to work with. When you can distinguish one thing different from Christian, from the rest of the body of Christianity, you immediately re realize that it's false traditions of men. That's all we've got. Well, it's an ongoing restoration. It's kind of, yeah. Isn't it funny how the Jehovah's Witnesses and the Seventh-day Adventists both use the same argument? They both claim, and Catholicism does too, and so does Orthodoxy, by the way. They all complain, they all claim to be the real original faith, and that everybody else has deviated from that, and that they're all trying to get back to the original true way. The Jehovah's Witnesses, which came about you know, shortly around, around about the time that the Mormons did, the Jehovah's Witnesses came around, and then they're trying to say that they're going back to the original true way. They're all making the same claim that you are. Can you show me that anything of any of it is true? Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you about from the very beginning about building on the foundation. Go and do these things, Which and as you do these things, you will personal subjective impressions. We want you to have your own personal deceptive. experiences. Yeah, right. in order to do, in order for you to have your own personal experiences, for you to witness these things for yourself. Been there, done that. I was a reborn Christian. I was a neo pagan spiritualist for years. I've, I've run the gamut. I've been on your course. I've, I'm no longer on that wheel. I figured out how auto deceptive faith is. I won't have anything to do with it. Okay. Well, faith is meant to be temporary. It's it's meant to 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 grow and turn into knowledge. And that was yes, kind of one of because that they, faith they're, can't they're turn into on, knowledge. They're, no, they're built in totally different things. Faith is believing things that are not evidently true. And knowledge is when you can demonstrate that there is a truth to the things that you believe. So their faith is opposite. believing in something for which that hasn't been proven to you yet. And so, right, yeah, right. believing and things so, that are not evidently true and believing it anyway. It doesn't mean it's it's not true. Okay, I can have. I said faith. not evidently true. 